From desolate ghost towns to forgotten castles, these are 10 strange abandoned places in America. Number 10, Joliet Prison, Illinois. In 1858, Joliet Correctional Center was built by convicts. It's kind of like building your own house, right? Just a little sadder. During the Civil War, the prison held criminals and prisoners of war. In 1872, the population of Joliet Prison reached record numbers with 1,239 people being locked up there. Reading into the history of some of the inmates, I stumbled across the crime of the century. Well, back in 1924 anyways. Obviously OJ Simpson would like a word with them. But back to the story. Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb, commonly referred to as Leopold and Loeb, were bright students at the University of Chicago. They thought they were so smart that they could get away with murder. They did their perfect crime and thankfully, they did their time as well. Not going into details, but the geniuses dropped a pair of glasses near the crime scene and spun a web of lies that made no sense. They both received life in prison. From 1960 on, Joliet Prison was processing around 20,000 convicts a year. Most of them were there for processing and were later reassigned to different prisons in the state. Before its closure in 2002, Joliet Prison still had about 1,200 prisoners walking inside. Both employees and convicts were transferred to Stateville Correctional Center due to budget cuts and the dangerous nature of the old building. If you have seen the Blues Brothers or the show Prison Break, you may be familiar with this prison. Number 9. 16th Street Station, California At the turn of the 20th century, Oakland had three main train stations. The 16th Street Station was one of them. After trains went out of style and rails were demolished, the station served the public with buses. On August 5, 1994, the last train and bus left the station. In 2005, the property was bought by Bridge Housing. They're still in the process of restoration. It might be taking longer than anyone expected, to be honest. At this point, you could actually rent out the place for your urban hipster event or whatever. You might recognize this gem if you have played the Watch Dogs 2 game. It was featured in one of their missions. Number 8. SS Francisco Morazan, Michigan. Talk about history. This vessel was built in 1922 Germany and was originally named Arcadia. In 1945, the Allies seized the ship and renamed it the Empire Congress. In 1946, it was given to the Norwegian government with a name change to the Bruns. In 1947, it was sold to merchants and renamed to Skuld. In 1948, it was sold again and renamed Ringas. In 1958, it was sold to Liberia and promptly renamed Los Mais. One final sale and one final name change turned this ship into what we know today, the SS Francisco Morazan. In 1960, the ship took off on its last voyage. After unloading materials in Chicago, she was headed to Rotterdam. The vessel ran aground South Manitou Island due to bad weather and was deemed a complete loss. The wreck is still there, but no one is sure how long it will stay intact. If you got plans to visit one of the few abandoned ships in the USA, it should be soon. Number 7. Astrodome, Texas. The NRG Astrodome opened in 1962. It was the first of its kind domed sports stadium and was nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world. Making all these videos has made me realize that there are way too many eighth wonders of the world. The stadium was a prosperous business venture for many years with baseball and football teams sharing it. And of course, who can forget the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo? In 2005, the Astrodome was used as a shelter for residents of New Orleans that were affected by Hurricane Katrina. By 2008, the stadium was shut down completely because of numerous building code violations. It is worth noting, the Astrodome was not open for shelter during the onslaught of Hurricane Harvey, but its successor, the NRG Center, was. It might be best not to shelter thousands of people in a building that is not up to code, so maybe it was for the best. Number 6. Ghost Towns of Montana Instead of focusing on just one town, I'd rather we explore a few of the beautiful ghost towns of Montana. And yes, there's quite a few. Let's take a look at Elkhorn, a remnant of the second gold and silver rush in Montana. The nearby mine is believed to have produced around $14 million worth of silver during its operation, so the town grew substantially. Surprisingly, the town did survive long after the mine shut down. It finally became a ghost town in the 1970s. 
Believe it or not, the town is on the up and up again. Some of the old cabins have been refurbished and reoccupied. Elkhorn boasts a massive population of 10 people. We also have the town of Garnet, which was also a mining town from the 1800s. This town, however, did not survive for too long. By 1912, it was a complete ghost town, and as luck would have it, the whole place caught on fire. Around half of the buildings were destroyed completely. But hey, that didn't stop it from becoming the best preserved ghost town in Montana. Around 16,000 people visit this place yearly. Finally, let's visit Bannock, the city that served as the capital of Montana Territory, albeit briefly. This town was also the site of a major gold mine in the 1860s. At its peak, Bannock had a population of about 10,000 people. By the 1970s, everyone was gone. But the city was not forgotten. Every year, on the third weekend of July, Bannock is revived and full of life. The historical reconstitution is known as Bannock Days. You know, for what it's worth, it's nice to see that a lot of historic places and locations are still respected and cared for. Number five, Duffer Area, Oregon. Another remnant of what used to be is the area of Duffer in Oregon. With a moderate climate that usually averages 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the lands were perfect for farming and raising stock. The city was formed in 1893 by the brothers Duffer who started a 600 acre farm. There is so much land to take care of, but they did it. Throughout the years, many people came and went and the community has settled on 600 or so residents. The lands are littered with derelict and abandoned buildings, primarily old barns. It's a scenic drive that takes you on a historic journey through Oregon. Duffer is not the only desolate area in Oregon, so taking a trip through the whole state is well worth it if you're into this kind of stuff. Jump over to Idaho as well. Number 4. Miami Marine Stadium, Florida all right, let's move into something a little more modern. The Miami Marine Stadium was a place where you could go and enjoy high-speed powerboat racing. It was actually the first place in the country to offer this spectacle back in 1963. With a capacity of 6,566 people, the stadium was actually donated to the city of Miami by the affluent Matheson family. The stadium was fully operational until 1992. After Hurricane Andrew hit the coast, the Miami Marine Stadium was condemned. Since then, the stadium has been covered by graffiti artists twice over, and some of the art is impressive to say the least. There has been an active renovation campaign by multiple companies and donations have poured in to return the stadium to its former glory. This abandoned place might get a second chance at greatness, after all. Number 3. Byron Hot Springs Hotel, California Back to the west coast we go. Who wants to join me in the Byron Hot Springs? Maybe in the 1950s it would have been a great place to visit for relaxation. Since then, it's been a great place for urban exploration. The hotel is stuck away between Stockton and Oakland, and it opened its doors to the Hollywood and San Francisco elite in 1914. It was later taken over by the military and renamed to Camp Tracy. It was used for Japanese and German POWs, which is kind of eerie. In 1946, the hotel entered the public market again, but it never lived up to its former glory. Many companies have tried and tried to revive the area, but nothing has worked. The building has been stripped of everything valuable and caught on fire back in 2005. The nearby town of Byron is nothing out of the ordinary, just a small town of less than a thousand people in the middle of nowhere, California. Number 2. Hahatonka, Missouri there's nothing funny about the remains of the mansion slash castle located in central Missouri. Named after the national park it is located in, Haha -ha Tonka Castle was built by the wealthy Kansas City businessman Robert Snyder. Don't worry, common last name, chances are you aren't related to him. This guy purchased 5,000 acres of land, which is insane, and realized his dream of owning a 16th century European castle. Well, he started to realize his dream. He died in one of the first ever car accidents in Missouri before the castle was completed. His sons finished the work on this once beautiful building, but as luck would have it, their family's fortune dwindled away due to numerous land rights lawsuits. After the Snyder family left, the castle became a hotel lodge, and in 1942, the building was completely destroyed by a fire. Number 1. Crystal Mill, Colorado Located on the Crystal River in Colorado, the Crystal Mill, or Old Mill, was built in 1892 and it generated power for the construction of the Sheep Mountain Mining Tunnel. By 1917, the Sheep Mountain Mine was shut down and the Crystal Mill fell into disuse. 
The area is quite honestly gorgeous, and it is a miracle that this old and wooden building has survived all the way to 2017. Considering the mill wasn't placed on the National Register of Historic Places until 1985, we can assume that its beauty and a hard-to-reach location kept it safe from destruction. I hope you enjoyed this chapter of Abandoned America. Check out the last two videos in the series. No repeat locations, I promise. See you there!